Well, John, we came for a win. We got a win. Um, probably a, a, not the easiest place to come. Um, but at the end of the day, another three points. Yeah, we... Uh, there's always an expectation level coming, you know, here that we would we would win the game, you know. I think when you're looking at the group and we do look at the group, then we felt that we would need to try and score, uh, you know, a number of goals. And uh, whether five is going to be enough or not uh, remains to be seen. You know, only depending, uh, you know, the next couple of games that are, that everyone goes and plays. Uh, yeah, I think we barred. Uh, Bucket early in the game, never really got a reward for that early uh, onslaught, but it came. You know, it came. Ross had a, a really good header. It got Alfie in, and uh, it was putting the ball across the goal. It was difficult for the defender to, to clear it. He puts it in his own goal, and of course that's the kind of you know opening that you wanted to try and get the, get us you know on on the scoreboard. Uh, we had an opportunity right after that. Uh, Ethan Ross has pressed the goalkeeper really, really well, won the ball back, and I'm, I'm really believing we should score for that. Maybe once I see it back, I might change my mind, but at the moment and at the time, I thought, you know, I thought Big Ross Moose should have done a little bit better to score, and we could have went 2 0 up. However, you know, and I, and I, I can't even break up the park, or, uh, you know, it wasn't so much, uh, I think, it was a mistake in defence, really, you know. The grass was really sticky, it was really dry, and the ball sometimes doesn't, doesn't run, and that's kind of what happened. Uh, we get caught in the ball and the guy hits a great shot across uh, Nicky in the far corner real real textbook can he finish exactly you know yeah, I'm sure guys were finishing like that at times uh, so great finish and uh, one each but we could score almost immediately uh, at the back yet you know go right down the park and score uh, again Alfie was involved I'm sure and uh, you know good finish by Aidan Nesbitt uh, the goalkeeper Big Mark has made a few good saves throughout the game uh, quite a number of good saves to be fair uh, and he's done that all his career against teams that I've been involved in to be honest with you uh, and then Sean kind of is able to make amends for the getting caught in the ball uh, by scoring with a header so a well worked set play from us uh, but Kenny looking at half time so we've got to score at least two goals in the second half you know we've got to get at least two maybe looking to get more than that but we've and it took a long time for us to get there. We had opportunities at the start of the second half. Calvin had an opportunity. Uh, Ethan Ross had a great opportunity. And you know, there, was, there was half chances, opportunities that we kind of just broke down a little bit. It kind of seemed like we had, kind of ran out of ideas. Uh, made some changes. And uh, Gary Oliver's popped up with a couple of really good bits of play. Uh, the fourth goal was a really, really good move. A good interchanging passes set up for Aidan Nesbitt to, to finish. A real cool, calm finish. And uh, then Gary's involved in putting a ball over the top for Ryan Shanley to run on to and uh, you know, he struck the ball really, really well and off the bar. So, you know, at half time we said, you know, if we can get another couple of goals, but really if we could actually be more than that. So we did, we, we got a couple of goals, whether that's enough or not, you know, we'll only remain to see uh, we ourselves, you know, got a Stenish Muir next week, a derby game. Uh, I'm sure they'll make, make it difficult for us. I know a team that lose an awful lot of goals. Don't know, uh, you know, they don't last season towards, and at the beginning of this season they weren't uh, necessarily scoring a lot, but they weren't losing a lot either. So uh, they're kind of set up that way. So that will be uh, that will be another uh, difficult game. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you know, it's a good win. It's a good win. Yeah. You mentioned um, Alfredo Aguiman causing them some problems in the first half. Um, him obviously coming in for, for Callum Morrison, who's missing out today. Um, but also Ethan Ross, the both of the, the two wingers looked really dangerous today, I thought, in the first half. Yeah, we, we've got at least four good wingers, you know. Our younger ones are good as well. It's just we're trying to get them on the pitch at times. Uh, but yeah, Alfie gets a good opportunity today for both these guys. They've been training well, uh, playing well when they, when they come on in games. So Callum's had a bit of uh, reaction to his knee, and with the game against London United and then Air United, two games close together, the knee's kind of swollen up again. So there was no point. I mean, he could have came here the day, and but it would have been the same problem come Monday or Tuesday. We're hoping that the rest will. We don't want to have this stop, start, stop, start. So we need to try and get to the bottom of it and try and get that kind of cleared up. So yeah, but from that point of view, yeah, good for Alfie to come in, start a game and play for, for so long, he's not played a 90 minute game, so again, bringing fresh legs on with, with Michael uh, and, and, and Gary and Ryan and then Keelan. 
it's a good opportunity for, for Ethan Ross as well, you know, to get a, get a start. So, yeah, I think there was opportunities there for, for both of them to, to score, actually. You know, Ethan's come in a couple of times and his shots maybe just not quite got there, uh, maybe been blocked or something's quite happened, but he was always threatening, he was threatening throughout the game. Uh, again, we would probably expect that, you know, the good players and, uh, you know, playing against Highland League teams who would be looking to be uh, doing well against against them. Yeah. And um, another change, obviously, um, Keelan Adams missed out, I think, um, due to in, um, illness. Yeah. Um, so Calvin Miller came in at left back. I don't think that's a change a lot of fans expected to see today. No. Uh, Keelan uh, just picked up an illness this morning. He woke up and was feeling sick and had diarrhoea and, and sickness bug. Uh, no one else in the camps got it. You know, it wasn't down to any sort of food. We all had the same food. We were up here last night. Uh, so it's disappointing for Keelan has been so good and uh, he's got to sell on the team and it's, it's, a, you know, it's a shame for him uh, so yeah we had to move, move things around about uh, so we end up with three left footed players in the defence which happens on odd occasions yeah Calvin played uh, left back for Celtic you know uh, it wasn't his position but uh, they tried to turn him into a, a left back and he, he actually did quite well he went to Dundee and played there at times for Dundee, and we actually played him in a, you know, a preseason friendly against Cumberland. All we played him there, so we we knew he could do that, could play there. That was the reason for it, because we knew we were going to be short of defenders. We knew that this could happen. We didn't want it to happen, but we actually tried him against Cumberland all there, and he was very good, really good. Uh, and he showed that today as well. Uh, he's more than capable of going playing there. It's, it's not where we want to play him, it's not where he wants to play, but sometimes, you know, needs must, and uh, yeah, he, he coped really, really well. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if you take it today, Keelan out, uh, Cole Donalds and uh, Tom Lang and, and Liam McCann, I mean, that's a back four itself. Callum Morrison, uh, you know, top goal scorer for the last three seasons, you know, it's, it's a, lot, a lot a lot, out of your team, you know. Uh, yeah. And just lastly, you already mentioned it, the Stenhouse Muir game, but it's the uh, it's the final group stage game. Um, like you said, a Derby match, and it's at home as well. Um, I'd say a, a really good way to, to end the group stages at this point. Yeah, it will be. There'll be another test. Yeah, uh, it'll set us up for uh, you know the game against uh, Queen's Park uh, the following Friday. Yeah, so good. The group's been really good. We, we knew we'd have two really good games with Dundee United and. Uh, Air up here to travel up here, tricky. You know, the pitch was a lot sticky, it looks really, really sticky. The grass was a bit long, and uh, you know, it's not an excuse, it's not an excuse, it's just a fact, uh, and it makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, fair play, and good luck to Bucky in, the, in their league campaign. Uh, all the best to them, yeah. So, yeah, we expect uh, Gary will have his team very well organized, but we're back at home. We, we, we love playing at home, we love the pitch, we love. Uh, you know, we 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 will play there, and we'll be looking forward to to that game. Yeah, absolutely, John. Thank you very much, and congratulations on the win. Cheers, thanks.